right here's the spleen, here's the pancreas, and the duodenum. So right here is the celiac trunk. You can tell that because here is the spleen, here's the splenic artery, right here. The common hepatic artery will be right here, and the left gastric artery right here. So that makes this the celiac trunk. Then if we go to veins on the same side, we already said this is the splenic artery, so this is a splenic vein coming from the spleen. Then right here is the inferior mesenteric that's going to connect with the spleen, but this right here is still the splenic vein. So the inferior mesenteric will just dump into the splenic vein. Then we have the superior mesenteric vein and artery. But when the splenic vein and the superior mesenteric vein connect, it makes the hepatic portal vein. And this is next to the common bile duct. And as I said before, here's the hepatic artery. So right here will be the liver. So remember that when you're trying to decipher the common or the hepatic portal vein. Then on the back side, coming from um, the he common hepatic artery, you have the pancreatico duodenal artery right here. That you don't have to know this, but this is the right gastric artery. Here's, here's the left gastric, here's the right gastric. And then down here are the intestinal arteries and veins. Right here, as I said before, is the pancreas. So this is the pancreatic duct. If we come over by the duodenum, if we follow the main pancreatic duct, we can go to the duodenal papilla right here. And then you can see an accessory duct, which will go to the accessory papilla up here.